All right, have and have not fans. Uh, January 7th is quickly approaching. If Oh yeah, this is the final week of November, meaning that we have a little over a month until our favorite show comes back on the OWN Network. Now this video, uh, if you're wondering, well Jeremy, you haven't been posting many have and have not videos lately, mainly because of the fact that we haven't gotten a lot of new news. Uh, I think the most latest thing was the video I did a few days ago about Veronica and Candace apparently facing off in episode two, I believe entitled Fleeting Moments, airing January 14th of 2020. Uh, but this video is kind of going back to the promo we got uh, in October. And there was a brief scene where we saw Derek because remember at the end of the trailer we had, a, well, promo, trailer, whatever you want to call it, we briefly saw Jeffrey Owens, the return of Celine, we saw Derek. Uh, amongst other things such as, you know, Candace, Hannah, Benny, and then Hannah at the scene uh, behind some police tape, which is obviously Catherine's house. But the topic of this video is about Derek and whether or not he's actually at Hannah's house or if he's somewhere else. And to be completely honest, I think that he isn't at Hannah's house due to the background behind him. Because with Hannah's house, remember, we wouldn't just be seeing open space across the street from her or other houses because of the, uh, what is it, the condo that she's currently located in, thanks to Catherine. This is an upper class neighborhood, even more, even um, so upper class that Veronica's quick to point out, hmm, Miss Hannah, you don't come up, huh? Now, it seems to me that this is possibly Veronica's house. Because of the fact that one, Derek wouldn't be going to David's house, and two, the only other person that we know that he's connected with would either be Catherine or Veronica. And given the fact that Veronica is, well, going to be facing off with Candace, that could by extension lead to um, reunion with Derek because of the fact that number one, he had just found out that, hey, this is my daughter. And number two, even I, I dare say that even if Derek didn't know that Candace was his daughter, it's safe to say that anything important to Hannah is important to him. And what was it, if I'm not mistaken, after Benny was stabbed by the surgeon, um, Derek showed up and was at the hospital with Hannah. Now, I also want to say that when it comes down to it, I believe that these two will have a reckoning, Derek and Veronica, because remember after Melissa jumped to her death, she was quick to blame Hannah, who pretty much just told her off before going in the house. Derek is the next person that Veronica sees and lashes out at him about the way he treated her the night before in the episode, The Broken Washer, when she was in a drunken state trying to come on to him, but he wasn't having it, and then he promptly left. But then also, um, later on that season, I believe, it was when, or was it that same day? And remember, you know, these days are kind of wonky because sometimes a day will either be half, if not an entire season. But the scene where um, Veronica had called Derek is like, when I call, I expect you to come over. And basically when he came, it was a list of his associates. Basically everyone, he's his checkered past, if you will, more, more than likely uh, his associates or former associates from his days before he got arrested you know, for um, robbing that liquor store, trying to get money for drugs. So looking at this army of gangsters and thugs that Veronica has assembled, it is possible that some of these people are a former associates of Derek, or you could just say that it's, a, it's like a bag of trail mix. There are people that Derek most likely knows, also people that Veronica has legal favors over in terms of, you know, she has connect you know her with her connections and whatnot probably got to the point where it's like hey i'm going to need an army because of recent it, yeah that's the one thing about veronica i'm really curious about in this upcoming season how deadly is she going to be you know is she going to be in this state of mint craze mentality forever because after doing what she did you know sending those guys to clean david's house aka killing everyone inside it's how do you come back from that? I mean, to be completely honest, I remember there was a time where um, on this channel, I did a couple videos, even talk with some of you all about, you know, like redeeming Veronica. Can her, David and Jeffrey become a family again? I look, the Lord can do anything. I'm just a human being. And when I say Lord, you know, well, God is in this series, to be honest, in terms of, you know, uh, Hannah being a Christian and whatnot. But I honestly don't know how forgiving David and Jeffrey can be because of this. Not to mention on top of that, um, 
Veronica revealing to David that he's not Jeffrey's father, who has yet to learn the truth yet. So there is a it's crazy to think that despite all of the physical harm that Veronica does, either through her own devices or her own hands, or these plans that she concocts in order to kill or threaten other people but her words are her strongest weapon her way of just saying the right the right thing to hit the wrong buttons if you will so i think when it comes down to the derek side of things what would derek be doing at veronica's place i mean you can argue that i can only think of possibly three things number one Derek isn't too happy because he found out that, you know, Candace and Veronica kind of, you know, had a moment together, if you will. Uh, number two, Derek went over there to relay the information about what happened to the criers. That's a possibility as well. Uh, number three, Derek and Veronica finally have their moment of, you know, vengeance, if you will, where those two go at each other. And if I'm not mistaken, uh, I believe that Derek threatened Veronica after he gave her that list saying that if you force me to go back to my old ways again, or what was it? If you threaten me again, I'll be forced to go back to my old ways. I don't think that's exactly what he said. I'm kind of paraphrasing, but basically it's like, look, if you want me to go back to that lifestyle, then I will go back to that lifestyle and you're not going to like it. So basically that's a threat right there. Obviously foreshadowing. Like I really do feel like if needed, he can call back that side of his life. And another thing I think I mentioned briefly in the Veronica Candace face off is that true Veronica has all these favors and whatnot. But I think that it might be a Lion King situation when the hyenas turn on Scar. Maybe the same thing will happen when the thugs turn on Veronica uh, due to the fact that. What was it? That group of guys that attacked Justin in jail. You had the one guy who Veronica spoke with. And I think what was it like? a few of his associates i want to say like half a dozen close to that number and didn't she say she was going to pay like five thousand it was like a piece no, hell no y'all are going to split it so i think it was five of them total but these guys that she's um you know accumulated are they being paid is this just a matter of hey i help you out legally and you owe me a favor or what and going back to what i said about some of them possibly being associates of Derek. Could it be that, you know, he might actually use their allegiance to turn on Veronica? I could see that happening as well. But in any case, I think that if Veronica and Candace are going to be facing off, then at some point, Derek is going to be facing off with Veronica as well. But based on this scene of her, him at the door, which again, I'm going to assume is Veronica's, um, it doesn't look like he's coming out of a place of anger, but more like concern and probably relaying the news. So of the crier so with that being said let me know your thoughts in the comment section below i think what would really poke the bear that is derek is if he finds out that veronica said or did something to candace that he didn't like so papa bear is going to come out and we'll have to just see what happens next so thanks so much for tuning in guys of course as more have and have not news comes out whether it be episode titles that we haven't heard about before new episode synopsis i'll be sure to cover it here on the channel uh, closing in on 98,000 subscribers, you know, trying to hit that before Thanksgiving. We should theoretically hit it sometime Tuesday or early Wednesday. And uh, yeah, make sure you hit that subscribe button in order to continue the momentum, as well as leave your thoughts in the comments. Check me out on social media. Links are in the description below. And make sure you tune in for my next video.